Have you ever wondered about the mysterious pre-Columbian cultures that once thrived in the heart of El Salvador? Today, we're embarking on a journey back in time, to a period long before the arrival of the Europeans, when El Salvador was a cradle of ancient civilizations. Picture a land nestled in the heart of Central America, rich with diverse ecosystems and abundant natural resources. This is El Salvador, a country with a cultural heritage deeply rooted in Mesoamerican and Iberian Peninsula traditions. But let's delve deeper, back to the dawn of civilization in this fascinating region. The earliest known inhabitants of El Salvador were the Paleo-Indians, a nomadic people who migrated to the region around 10,000 years before Christ. Imagine a time when mammoths and saber-toothed cats roamed the land, and these early humans were the newcomers. The Paleo-Indians were hunter-gatherers, living off the bountiful land. They hunted large game like mastodons and bison, used stone tools and gathered wild fruits and nuts. They left their mark on the region, not with grand structures or written records, but with their survival skills and adaptability. These early inhabitants were the foundation of the diverse cultures that would later emerge in El Salvador. Over time, the Paleo-Indians began to settle down, forming the first primitive societies. They developed new skills like farming and pottery, and their communities grew more complex. This shift from nomadic to settled life marked a significant turning point in the history of El Salvador. And so, the stage was set. The dawn of civilization in El Salvador gave birth to a rich tapestry of cultures, each contributing to the unique identity of this remarkable country. These early people set the stage for the rise of more complex cultures in El Salvador. El Salvador was not untouched by the grandeur of the Maya civilization. The Mayans, a civilization of immense intellectual prowess and architectural mastery, made their presence felt in the region between 250 and 900 AD. Their influence was profound, shaping the culture and history of El Salvador in ways that still resonate today. The Maya were renowned for their advanced knowledge in several domains. They were avid astronomers, meticulously charting the stars and planets and developing a complex calendar system that is still admired for its accuracy. Their dedication to the cosmos was not just a fascination, but an integral part of their spiritual and cultural beliefs. In the realm of mathematics, the Maya were equally impressive. They developed a unique numeral system, which included the concept of zero, a mathematical breakthrough that was centuries ahead of its time. This innovative system enabled them to perform complex calculations, aiding in their architectural and astronomical pursuits. Speaking of architecture, the Maya were master builders, they constructed magnificent cities with towering pyramids, grand palaces, and intricate stonework. Each structure was meticulously planned and skillfully built, reflecting not just their engineering prowess but also their deep spiritual beliefs and understanding of the natural world. But like all great civilizations, the Maya too faced a decline. Their magnificent cities were gradually abandoned, their once thriving society reduced to a shadow of its former self. The exact reasons for this decline are still shrouded in mystery. Some theories point to overpopulation and environmental degradation, while others suggest internal conflicts or invasions. Regardless of the cause, the end of the Maya civilization marked a significant turning point in the history of El Salvador. The Mayan civilization left an indelible mark on El Salvador, paving the way for future cultures. Their advanced knowledge, impressive architecture, and rich cultural heritage continue to inspire and influence the region, serving as a testament to the grandeur and depth of Mayan civilization. Following the Maya, two distinct cultures emerged in El Salvador, the Lenca and Pipil. The Lenca people, a group with a unique language and a fierce spirit of resistance, stood their ground against Spanish conquest. They were among the first to settle in El Salvador, bringing with them a distinct language that served as a symbol of their identity. Their resistance to the Spanish conquest is a testament to their resilience and their commitment to preserving their culture and way of life. On the other hand, the Pipil people, who spoke the Nahuatl language, were known for their advanced agricultural practices. They cultivated a variety of crops, including maize, beans, squash, and chili peppers, demonstrating a deep understanding of the land and its resources. The Pipil people's agricultural practices not only sustained their communities, but also contributed to the development of El Salvador's rich agricultural tradition. In addition to their agricultural prowess, the Pipil people were also skilled architects. They built impressive pyramidal structures that stood as a testament to their architectural ingenuity 
and their understanding of mathematics and geometry. These structures, which still stand today, offer a glimpse into the Pipil people's advanced civilization and their contribution to the architectural landscape of El Salvador. The Lenca and Pipil cultures, with their distinct languages, agricultural practices, and architectural achievements, added rich layers to the historical tapestry of El Salvador. Their legacy continues to shape the cultural identity of the country, reminding us of the complex and diverse history that has shaped El Salvador into the nation it is today. The Lenca and Pipil cultures added rich layers to the historical tapestry of El Salvador. The arrival of the Spanish in the 16th century marked a pivotal moment in El Salvador's history. This period, filled with exploration and conquest, dramatically transformed the cultural, social, and political fabric of the region. The Spanish, drawn by tales of abundant gold and riches, were met with resistance from the indigenous cultures. The Maya, Lenca, and people, who had thrived in this region for centuries, found their way of life under threat. The Spanish conquest was not just about territorial expansion, but also a cultural imposition. The indigenous people were subjected to the Spanish language and Catholicism, both of which still have a profound influence on El Salvador's culture today. In a bid to assert their authority and establish control, the Spanish introduced encomiendas, a system that forced the indigenous population into labor. This system, coupled with diseases brought by the Europeans, decimated the indigenous population, forever changing the demographic makeup of the region. However, the indigenous people did not accept this imposition passively. They resisted, fought, and rebelled. A notable instance is the 1932 Salvadoran Peasant Massacre, also known as La Matanza. Indigenous people, led by Farabundo Marti, rose against the oppressive government. This resistance, though brutally suppressed, is a testament to the courage and resilience of the Salvadoran people. The Spanish conquest ushered in an era of change, some of which were destructive, but it also led to the birth of a new culture. The Mestizo culture, a blend of indigenous and Spanish traditions, emerged and continues to shape El Salvador's identity. The Spanish conquest dramatically altered the course of El Salvador's history, yet the resilience of its people remains evident today. The echoes of the past can still be heard in the vibrant culture of present-day El Salvador, a testament to the indomitable spirit of its people. El Salvador's pre-Columbian history is a fascinating journey of diverse cultures and enduring resilience. The dawn of civilization in this land witnessed the rise of the Paleo-Indians, who laid the foundation for the diverse cultures that followed. Their legacy is still seen in the archaeological sites scattered across the country, whispering tales of a time long past. The emergence of the Maya was a significant milestone, their advanced civilization leaving an indelible mark on the region. They were skilled in agriculture, pottery, hieroglyph writing, calendar making and mathematics, a testament to their intellectual prowess. The remnants of their grand cities, intricate art, and complex societal structures continue to captivate us today. Then came the Lenca and Pipil cultures, each contributing distinct flavors to the cultural melting pot of El Salvador. The Lenca, with their strong traditions in pottery and agriculture, and the Pipil, known for their impressive architectural feats and sophisticated social organization, added rich layers to the historical tapestry of El Salvador. But history took a sharp turn with the arrival of the Europeans. The Spanish colonization brought profound changes, both devastating and transformative. It marked the end of an era and the beginning of a new one, forever altering the course of El Salvador's history. Yet, amidst the tides of change, the spirit of the ancient cultures endured. The echoes of the Maya, Lenca, and people reverberate in the modern Salvadoran culture, shaping its identity. From the language to the traditions, from the festivals to the sports, the influence of these ancient cultures is palpable. They remind us that the past is not merely a distant memory, but a living, breathing part of our present. El Salvador's vibrant culture today is a testament to this rich history, a mosaic of ancient traditions and modern influences. As we delve into its past, we gain a deeper understanding of its present, and perhaps, a glimpse into its future. The echoes of these ancient cultures continue to resonate in El Salvador's vibrant culture today. If you enjoyed this journey through time, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share this video. Remember, knowledge is power.